in a world full of loud movies, starring loud people. Mata! Play to theaters full of loud fans. One premise will shock and horrify the modern audience, having to shut the f up. Ah, that's better. A quiet place. Psst, hey, can we get an epic ASL guy to help me out here? Perfect. Explore the near future of a quiet place. On one hand, it's a dystopia where blind aliens kill anyone who makes a sound. But on the other, it's every dad's paradise, where a father of three children can finally get some peace and quiet, with plenty of time for fishing, farm-to-table meals, and a man cave full of TVs that your kids are not allowed to enter. Hey, psst. Hey, dude. Can we, like, trade lives? Please. Watch The Office's John Krasinski prove he's more than just a pretty gym face, but a wide range of pretty gym faces. With support from real-life wife Emily Blunt, the most badass female character that's also barefoot, pregnant, and not allowed to speak. But it's behind the camera where JK really shines as he makes a directing debut that's one part Ridley Scott, one part James Cameron Titanic references, and six parts Tarantino foot shots. Oh, oh, sorry. Haven't yelled like that since Marvin Home Alone. <coughs> Prepare for an awesome original horror movie premise. As long as you don't think too hard about it, where everyone always looks like they're holding in a fart, because a fart or burp or sneeze would equal death, where footsteps are too loud, but snapping your fingers is fine, and where this waterfall lets you be as noisy as you want. <coughs> But they don't just live next to the waterfall? I mean, come on! Don't even get me started on the ending in military-grade sonic weaponry. The government's already developing it under the Denver airport. So if you love survival horror movies and feature-length ASMR videos, strap in. But carefully, because the straps can get, like, really noisy for a film that started its life as a potential Cloverfield sequel, but in the capable hands of Big Tuna, became a really solid one-off film. I mean, come on. We don't need a sequel. Unless it's, like, a super quiet Aliens. Game over, man. Game over. Starring Dunder Mufflin, Shikario, Spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. Literally turning it to 11. Oral coral. Chekhov's nail. The same aliens as After Earth, only they sense sound instead of fear. Did anyone else see After Earth? Rocket, no! And shh. The Quiet Game. This is a good reminder that Monopoly sucks and will get you killed in the apocalypse. As if you ever needed another reason not to play Monopoly, right? Hey, thanks for helping out, Epic ASO guy. I'm just gonna pretend that means you're welcome. Disestablishmentarianism is a big word. You're not the only one cursed with knowledge. Everything starring The Rock. Blessed be the Fruit Loops. I just read these comments out loud because I like them. <laughs>